Hello everybody, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor here with another dinosaur review. And today this review has been requested by um, Matthew the Dinosaur King. Uh, it has been requested for a little while, I think. But I haven't, uh, I'm still going to be reviewing this for him. I'm still going to be reviewing this and hopefully he'll let, because I know he's been interested in these little figures. Um, okay, so basically, I can't remember if this will, this is the one, but again, uh, the, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Favorite Co. Zuchan Tyrannus and Cynoceratops. And we'll start off with uh, Cynoceratops. Now, Cynoceratops, which name means, I can't remember what its name means, it lived, it's a genus of Ceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous period of China. I don't know what else it lived with, um, besides Zuchan Tyrannus. And apparently, people, I, a lot of people were thinking this would also be in Fallen Kingdom, uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but. Sadly, we got a Pachyrhinosaurus, which looks nothing like what we saw in the trailer. But besides that, um, uh, it's going to... So, again, this is probably, like, a very good figure. And not really many people know uh, Sinoceratops. It's kind of like the Chinese cousin of uh, Styracosaurus. Looks similar, but, again, has the giant horn here. The frill is a bit different. It kind of almost represents a trike. It's similar, but it's also, I think, relatively smaller as well. Uh, I got this off of eBay, so again, uh, we'll get to that later. And I gotta say, the detail of this one, it looks pretty good. It's in a running pose. Like, apparently there are bases that come with these, but I have lost them. Along with most of these, I've lost at least a piece of these each. I know it's sad, like, I had to see Lophysis, but I lost the, uh, the Ridionosaurus that comes with it. And I've also lost the Pelicomimus that comes with the Concav Venator, and it sucks. But... Again, I gotta say, this is a pretty unique species as well. I know I think Vitae, uh, it's a new company coming that has um, been on the rise lately. Uh, they made a Giganotosaurus. I don't know if I'll get it, but also they're making Majungasaurus, my personal favorite theropod. But I don't know. Uh, I know they're making a Cynoceratops as well, but man, we'll see if they have So let's check out back there. Eh, no, he fell down. Now, this guy, I have to hold him all the time for it because this guy cannot be supported without a base. And I've lost the base a long time ago. Now, Zuchan Tyrannus, I don't know what the name means, but it was a genus of Tyrannosaurid that lived in the late Cretaceous period of China. This was the Chinese equivalent. This was probably as big, it was, it was kind of like one of the bigger Tyrannosaurid families. I think about almost as big as T Rex, or maybe a bit bigger, I don't know for sure. Uh, they think it had feathers, I don't know for sure, but this one doesn't. Uh, to me, if you look at it, it just looks like a regular old T-Rex, but this is Zuchan Tyrannus. Uh, this is the only Zuchan Tyrannus figure I know of. Uh, it is relatively small, but yeah, it's really good. The paint color scheme is okay, like it has a bit of white streaks, stripes around here. And I'll get that the, and pretty much the feet. Are the right size again? They're not clown feet. That's the reason why it has a base. And also, again, the teeth are really nice, and you have the inside of the mouth. Nice. And where I got these, uh, if you're asking, I got these off eBay, off of a guy called Fan Gone Spent. Um, I can't pronounce his name a little. But these things are not cheap. These are for the Fukui Museum exclusive. So, if you're wondering why you haven't seen many reviews of these or haven't seen many collectors have these they're really hard to find like I've got like uh, apparently because they release these every year uh, for the Fukui Museum exclusives they had a couple back a couple years ago I have a few of them and these things are incredibly rare uh, they can only be sold in the Fukui Museum but some people in Japan do get them and they are relatively cheaper they're relatively expensive or cheaper they can buy them all five of them and they have a few uh, pair sets the other ones I have are the uh, Bistohovir, here. I think that's the Bisto here, or can't pronounce the name of that one, and Pentaceratops, and the Coelophysis and Ridionosaurus minus the, the Ridionosaurus, so I just have the Coelophysis. And what else do I have? I have also the Spanish dinosaur set, just the Concav Venator. I lost the Pelicomimus, and I have the Tampa Titanus. These this cost me about hundred bucks with fast shipping. So, again, this is pretty much if you actually have a lot of money to spend on dinosaur figures, get these. But, again, personally, just they come with a little fancy box as well. So, again, if you really are into dinosaur figures, you would 
I would recommend you get these off eBay, but they are expensive though. I would say that. Okay, so this has been Alex the Sauropod Titan here with another review. This I'm just going to be doing three reviews today. So after I upload the Brachiosaurus one, this one, I think that's it for now. Might do some more tomorrow, depending on if something arrives or not. Now we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.